Takeshi, it's fantastic to have you on board on a permanent deal. Just how are you feeling after signing? Very good. Obviously, I've been here three weeks now, so uh, got to know the boys, got to know the place well, and uh, enjoyed my time so far. So hopefully it just continue. Long may that continue. And it can be quite difficult to showcase your ability when you're in on trial, but I think you'll agree that you did that in a big way here. Well, obviously, it's good coming in. Um, all the boys, easy to get on with and uh, gelled very easily with them all. Um, going into the games, obviously, pre-season, you start off with the easier opponents. So it wasn't, no, obviously, disrespect to Solihull, but it's a lot easier to Im implement your own game on, on, on the day. Um, it was nice to obviously get the assist. Uh, same with away in Cartagena, obviously a bit better opposition. Um, managed to get assist there as well and um, just hoping to continue like that. And like you say there, you managed two assists in your first two games playing with completely new players. Um, how pleased have you been with your performances so far? Um, I was like, I've done well enough in, in, in that sense. Um, still in myself feel like I'm lacking certain sharpness. Um, obviously I missed a lot of last season um even fitness wise as well so still feel like um got another 20 20 percent to give um already than what you've seen so and you've had some time to get to know your new teammates a bit and from our perspective it looks like you've gelled really well with them so far oh yeah of course um staff uh the everyone around the training ground i've seen especially the players um like some of them said it doesn't feel like you've only been here three weeks it's like you were already here so it's obviously good to hear and gives me uh, confidence and what were your first impressions of the gaffer and his sort of managerial style is he someone you've really enjoyed working with yeah of course from the first day i came in to train uh it was all shape tactics um what is going to benefit us as a team and how we're going to be better um going into obviously the games just looking at the opposition and finding their weak points and uh, like a structured manager that knows if I was to play on the left wing, I know exactly what I'm doing. If I was to play as a 10, I know exactly what I'm doing. If I was to play in midfield or even as a fullback, <laughs> I know what my teammates are offering and the responsibilities. So it, it makes everything a lot easier. And the squad is really starting to take shape now with you as the eighth edition already this transfer window. Do you feel like there's a really good feeling amongst the squad at the moment? Yeah, of course. Obviously, coming off the back of last season for the boys, obviously when I've spoken to them, um, I know it was their highest finish in a, a handful of seasons and even that was in some ways obviously to escape the relegation battle and then finish there was a success but even to them it was not enough which is obviously a good thing you want that in your teammates you you don't want them to be settling for a mid-table 16th finish or whatever it was you want everyone that's there and wanting to be competing at the top so they have that hunger I have that hunger and I hope obviously the boys that have all come in all eight of us and um, the boys that were obviously here from last season uh, ready to put that all together and compete in this league and push for for playoffs at least. And it, it's something of a new chapter, not for not just for yourself, but for the club as well. You know, how does it feel to be a part of that now? Oh, it's uh, massive. Like the club being taken over, the project that they have and the um, trajectory that they want to go on, it's, um, it's exciting times and you want to be a part of big clubs, Birmingham City, from when I was growing up was a Premier League club. So watching them and I remember obviously I'm an Arsenal fan, 2011 when they won the uh, Carling Cup and I was fuming, but like from what I know as a kid, Birmingham City is a massive club. So even the chance to play here is, 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 is a very good opportunity to showcase myself and get the club back to where it should be. And you touched on it for a second earlier, but how are you feeling physically as well? Because it, it looks to us like you're in good fitness having played in the preseason games and having uh, done all that running in Spain as well. Yeah, well, Spain was very good. It's very tough, uh, very intense uh, workouts all through the week. Um, like I said, obviously, I missed, missed a lot of football last year, unfortunately. And like I said, that sharpness uh, is something that comes with time being back on the pitch. And like I said, I, I feel like there's still 20 odd percent more that I can reach in terms of my fitness and my sharpness which will come, it, it, it never really comes in pre-season for anyone. But given that I missed a lot last season, I've just given myself that little bit extra time. I had the hard yards done in uh, the off-season as well. But I'm feeling very, very, very good, so ready for the season. And finally, the fans have been desperate to see you sign. They're obviously very impressed with what they've seen from you so far. Uh, how much are you looking forward to repaying that support? 
oh, of course, like at any club, the fans make the club. So um, it's just getting out there and having them back the boys, having them back me, having them back the manager and like even the, the new owners and everything. Um, they make the club and we want to repay them for supporting us every day. Thank you very much, Keshi. Welcome to the club. Thank you very much.